Hey guys, Patrick here, and in this quick video, uh, it's just really a, uh, a follow-up to my previous review of this laptop that I'm recording on right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, overclock your refresh rate on your monitor. So as you can see, I'm on the desktop right now, and what you will need to do is download Refresh Rate Monitor R. This is basically CRU app. It is available all over the internet. You can Google it, you'll find it, but I will put a link in the bottom. Uh, first of all, you'll see this folder here. Now, these applications here are just to safeguard what you're about to do, just in case you need to do something that will uh, basically, you know, have to reset everything. You're able to run these and you're able to run these from the terminal when you actually boot in through BIOS using a Windows 10 or 8 or 8.1 or 7 disk so as long as you as long as you get to terminal you'll be able to run these also by just actually going to the folder and saying run da 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 reset dash all now you can find the instructions on how to do that on another video but today we're just going to look at cru.x now what i'm going to do is going to run it as administrator you don't have to potentially do this but it works much better when you do now what I've done is I've taken the liberty of creating some of these standard resolutions. So what I'll do, I'll create a new one. Now ignore this area here, but you can also see which uh, actual generic monitor is active. Now the thing is when you have a dual graphics card system like a laptop, you will need to actually choose the one that is active. So for example, if the one that's active and you're on your desktop is actually the integrated one, just to save battery power, it'll be using that. So you'll see active on that one. If you want to change the resolution of uh, the refresh rate of both, you will need to save the same exact one for both. Because once your laptop switches over to this one, when you game, it'll only have access to these resolutions and it will glitch out. So at the moment, I added 81 over here and um, I will add that to this new one here. So all I have to do is go add, find the resolution of my monitor, which is 1980, 1920 by 1080, 16 by nine, and that was 81 in the refresh rate, and I've added it in there. Now I'll just move this down for my own sake, and we have the same setup on here. This is where you add your resolution, and when you click OK, that's it, it's done, right? When you pop back in, you will see something called restart required, um, and all you have to do is restart your computer. And when you go into display settings, this is Windows 10, by the way, display, adapter, properties, monitor, and over here, you'll see all your refresh rates. Now, as I mentioned in my review of this laptop, I was able to get up to maximum 80. 81 isn't really a big difference, but there it is. I can get it to 81. Now, one of the things you wanna do is check what you can go up. So if you get to a point where it doesn't want to go up anymore and you still want to go up by more, feel free to flick through into here and change it by at least one or two. So you see between 81 and 85, I cannot go any higher than 81, probably 82. We can test it another time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I will link in the description where you can get this app. And remember, I'm doing a giveaway of the G413 uh, mechanical keyboard from Logitech, so check out that video also, and I'll catch you another time. This will be a little bit of a different video. Thank you.